top of the afternoon, everyone. This is the Wandering Yuki wishing you a happy Thanksgiving. I hope everyone is making the most of their long weekend, if you happen to have that. Me, I'm doing that as well. And I got the urge to do a little bit more recording for the first time since I did my summer finale. In fact, if you want, I can... Oh, right, forgot. Click on the link on the top right corner to see that, just to see my travels all around Montreal over the summer for some great coffee shops, great bars, great restaurants, and above all else, classic music that was feeling nostalgic. But after all of that, I felt like I needed a break to recharge my batteries. Obviously, you already know it's been a tough year. And looking back at all my footage I put together, I realized that's about 12 hours of content I did in a span of maybe three months, maybe four months, which is a lot because there's a lot more that goes into editing this than you probably even realize. What you see on YouTube is only a fraction of what I actually record and cut out. Anyways, I wanted to get back into some recording to let you all know I'm fine and I'm safe. I did have a bit of a one brew before that was called July 18th. It's a grisette, which is supposed to be a French style farmhouse sale. Love those. The main reason I got that is because, well, July 18th was my mom's birthday, so I figured I'd do a little drink like that to pay tribute to her. But I wanted to do one more taster over here. This is usually not my style, but I'm making an exception today because it was calling my name. One five ounce taster of something called Barley Wine 2022. So if you're like me, you see that name, you probably think, okay, it probably is maybe a beer that's aged in an old wine barrel because I have tasted some beers that have the taste of a Cabernet Sauvignon in there, but it's actually just because they use the wine uh, label because it's supposed to be strong typically. Like in order for it to be actual wine, you need to use fruit uh, and ferment it to be able to make it into something to drink. If you're fermenting barley, it's just a beer. But they call it that because of the strength. This thing is 9.9%. Typically, I'm not someone that tries that kind of stuff especially not as a pint, but once in a while I like to give it a shot just to see what it tastes like and how much it's gonna knock me out. So here's what I'm gonna do. One taste, and I'm gonna tell you what it's like. Quite nice, yeah. Okay, I've heard there's two styles of these barley wines. There's the American one that could be a little bit bitter and more hoppy. This I think is more European, so it does taste a little bit fruity. And actually, hold up. Hmm. Okay, this is giving me childhood flashbacks. The taste of here is kind of fruity to the point that it's making me think back to when I did my first Camino when I was eight years old. And the wine that they use when they're giving me the piece of bread almost tastes a bit like this. And that's a pretty weird connection to make. Huh. When was my first Camino again? Oh yeah, nearly 30 years ago. Shoot, it's been that long already? Yep. So that's that. I wanted to get some recording started again before I start doing full episodes once more. And since we are in October, you can rest assured that there will be a Halloween special coming up. And yes, I'll be dressed up like a psychopath doing some cooking in my yard. Stay tuned for that. It's going to be a fun one. And until then, cheers. Happy Thanksgiving once again. And hope you're having a good time. Now, I'm going to have to go find myself a coffee afterwards. But luckily, I'm within mile end. And I'm no, not that far from a whole bunch of other coffee shops that are around that's not the McDonald's. Because if you've been following me on the channel, you already know my love of McDonald's. Ronald, go throw a rock at yourself. <laughs> I rest my case. Cheers, everyone.